Was it, was, it, was it 10 or 15 million dollars that Golden Boy offered? I have no idea. <laughs> and is that fight going to happen? Where are we I at sure hope head? so. Where are I we sure at? hope so. It, uh, right now, my head's in Jan Danny Jacobs. Obviously. Yeah, but I sure hope so because it's the best fight that can happen for boxing. Uh, the styles are going to mesh well. Um, we won't have a, a, a wrestling match. We won't have a grappling match. We'll have a fight where two guys are going to hit each other. Um, but uh, the business of boxing, unfortunately, gets in the way, and and, and it may not happen because of that. Um, but I think it's the kind of fight that can go two or three times. I mean, it's that, uh, to me, it's that competitive. Is Oscar it, holding the back? Yeah. Is Oscar holding Canelo back in your eyes? No, Oscar's being a businessman. He's not holding him back. Uh, Canelo's as good as he's going to be. Now he just needs to fight. He's as good as he's going to be for you guys. Now for himself and for his legacy, he needs to fight the fights that are going to make him bigger. Uh, not a better fighter, but just a bigger bigger name. But Oscar's doing what uh, promoters do, what a businessman does. He's, he's going to take the fights or do the fights that are best in their best interest and when he feels that it's in their best interest to face Golovkin, uh, then they'll face him. Hey, Bo Canelo, Golovkin's a big fight, but if you're aware, there's talks of a potential uh, catchway between Chavez Jr. and Canelo. Why was he able to not go up to 160 for Golovkin and move up to 165 for Chavez Jr.? And he asked Golovkin to move down to 165. What's your take on that whole situation? You know, I think this is a little hypocritical, but um, uh, I'll give it to you this way. I said that we would move up to 168 with Golovkin to fight the right fight, but we always said that he was a middleweight and we would move up to 68. With, with Canelo, he says he's not a middleweight, yet he was the middleweight champion, defended the middleweight title, and he would want Golovkin to come to 55. Now he's a middleweight, now he's fighting at 65, where he wants to fight at 65. I think it's unfortunate for, for Chavez that he's in a position that he has to take a fight like that because he's dwindled his career, he's really done, not done the right things, and uh, at 65, I think Chavez will be weaker, um, Canelo will be stronger, Canelo will be faster, so I think Canelo beats him in a decision, but it's because it's Chavez's fault that he gets beat. It's Chavez's fault because he has led his career be up at 175, 174, and now he's killing himself to, to get a money fight. You know, talk to us about the frustrations Sorry, of not getting right a Only big fight. Wristbands, but he's asking me to get him all out. So unless you have a wristband, you can continue. If not, I need to see everyone. <laughs> can you just talk to us about the frustrations of not getting a big fight because there was talks with Canelo Alvarez, there was talks with Chavez Jr., Carl Frosch. Is Daniel Jacobs a big enough fight? The frustration, the frustration was that um, guys were just talking. You know, that's the biggest frustration. Uh, Golovkin in the Monroe fight and the Wade fight and the Brook fight looked like he wasn't interested. Like he wasn't interested. So um, Jacobs being the perceived threat by everybody, the perceived threat that he is legitimate according to uh, the experts, uh, gives Golovkin that. Uh, I'm not going to say fear, but gives him that uh, edge to, to, to want to do the best that he can in the fight and to, and to look destructive. 